Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get it in. Here we go. Oh, I wasn't even prepared like I thought I was. Here we go. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda. Israel also on this Pastor Derek on this Bible study. Evening Bible study on this third day in June 2024. We'll be back at it for some more, y'all. Name of this Bible study is uh, Wake Up. Wake Up. And so, let's open up with prayer. Spirit of Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be humbled and in your presence. I ask you to continue the transformation process. Um, waking us up to you, transforming us by the renewing of our mind. That we repent from all sin and that you reign supreme in our hearts. We, we need our hearts prepared to receive truth as you disclose truth in these last and evil days. Prepare our hearts even for that. That we may walk circumspectly before you and obey you in these, in these last and evil days. And continue to give you the praise and the honor and the kabbalah. In Yahushua's master's name, we help me pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. All right, y'all. We back at it one more again. Uh, Yah, son, Dimitri, high tower for, for killer. It's in the building. Barbara, good to see you in here as well. Al, man, my pal is up in here. Y'all feel free to share your platforms with the Two for the Word. Get your tag game going. Invite folks to come on in and celebrate more truth, revelation of more truth in these last and evil days. Is that all right? <clears throat> Let's go to Hosea, third chapter, y'all. Hosea, the third chapter. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the NIV. I'm gonna do the NIV, Jasmine. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the NIV. Look, look, look what this say, y'all. This says, <coughs> "Yahuwah said to me, go." Show your love to your wife again. Though she is loved by another man and is an adulteress. Look what he said. Love her as Yahuwah loves Israel. Though they turn to other gods and love the sacred raisin cakes. Right? Listen what it say. They they they, they got a, they got a taste for other gods cooking. What what other gods is cooking spiritually? What do they call them? Cross, cross, hot cross buns. What they be making during these satanic holidays? Whatever them buns is. Second verse. Look what it say. <clears throat> Say, so I brought, I brought, I bought her for fifteen shekels. He had to go buy her. He had to pay for her like she was a hooker. I guess she was, huh? But he had to go buy his wife back. So I bought her for fifteen shekels of silver, and about a homer and a a a a a a, 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 a less thick of barley. Then I told her, 
you are to live with me many days. And you must not be a prostitute or be intimate with, 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 with any man. And I will behave the same way towards you. For Israel will live many days without a king or a prince. You hear that? Israel is going to live many days. This is a prophecy, y'all. For Israel will live many days without a king or a prince. In other words, they're going to be somewhere where they're homeless. With no nobody on earth fighting for them. Nobody on their side. Nobody to rescue them. No one to advocate for them. All, all the kings and the princes is going to be foreigners and they're going to be for the best interest of their people. And Israel is going to be last class citizens if even uh, considered a citizen at all. They end up being like three-fifths of a human being. B blow their brains out or, or, or frame them. Ain't nothing going to happen. Because they're going to be without a king or a prince. There's going to be no advocacy for them. No rescue for them. They're going to be hated on. The things that's going to be taught is going to be anti them. Even when they do good, it's bad. They can't, they can't, they can't, they can't do nothing right. Even if, even if they excel in education, even if they get titles and positions, Someone of a lower position will be over to overthrow them. And ain't nothing going to happen. Listen, for first. For Israel will live many days without a king or a prince. Without a, a, a sacrifice or sacred stones. Without ephod or household, uh, or, or, uh, household gods. Right? In other words, there's going to be a religious system to where it is Israel ain't going to be running it. They're going to be subservient. They're going to be under the influence of, 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 of other spiritual influences. Is y'all listening to this? Um, fear for us. Afterward, Israel will return and seek um, Adonai, their Elohim, and David, their king. They, they will come trembling to Yahuwah and to his blessings in the last days. They're going to wake up. Y'all heard that? They're going to wake up. <laughs> when we look at um, Psalms 83. So let's go look at it. And it says, first verse, it says, um, O Elohim, do not remain silent and do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O Elohim. See how your enemies growl how your foes rear their heads with cun with cunning they conspire against your people they plot against those that you cherish right come they say let us destroy them as a nation it's Israel Look, there's some people that has conspired together that concluded we're going to destroy them as a nation this is true teaching church ain't teaching that 
You ain't heard none of this in church, have you? Because you without a, a king or a prince, and you without an ephod, you're not you're not running the Bible schools. You, you're not you're not you're not in charge of the religious information that's being passed down and taught. Yah is not the one handing out them collars, not right now. The bishop collars. Are y'all listening? Second verse, see how your enemies growl, how your foes rear their heads. And with with cunning, they conspire, they slick, they cunning. Listen, with cunning, they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation. So, so that Israel's name is remembered no more. And see, see, they did such a good job that folks don't even know who Israel is. They did such a such a great job, Demina and Linda Frank. They did they did such a great job that Israel don't even know. And if you told them they did such a, a great job, that they say it don't matter. Are y'all with me? How you say it? Kante? Hakadesh? Kante? Psalms 83 and 5. Look what it says. And, and, and with one mind they plot together. This, this is a conspiracy. It's been put together. It's prophesied too. That Israel would be blinded. Yeah, because of their disobedience to the Most High. So, there would be a time to where they would know who they are because they're in exile. Right? They're without a king or a prince. And other folks is ruling over them and they're the distributors of the information. And the information is cunning. It's deceptive. And they're going to believe it. Israel is. Israel is going to believe the things that they're taught. They're going to they're gonna defend it. Yeah. And when they're educated, they're going to be educated by the enemies that's going to lie to them. His story. Yeah, his story. They're going to they tell Israel his story. So the fifth verse is saying... With one mind, they plot. They plot together. They form an alliance against Israel. Right? Did y'all listen? The tents of Edom. It's going to be Edom. It's going to be the Ishmaelites. It's Ishmael and them. Right? Moab and the Hagrites. Biblos and Ammon and Amalek. Philistia. With the people of Tyre. Even even Assyria has joined them to reinforce Lot's descendants. Is y'all listening? It's gonna be a big conspiracy, Lester Lester Dixon. Let me teach some more, y'all. Let me give you a little bit more. L l let, me, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. Let's go let's go to Romans right quick. Romans um, 11 and 25. Look, 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 look what this say, Logan. Romans 11 and 25. Look what this say. It says, I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery. Right? It, a mystery is something you don't know. So when he say, I do not want you to be ignorant of it, meaning it's it's time to wake up to the mystery, right? I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters. 
how that you may not be that you may so that you may not be conceited. Who is he talking to? Gentiles. Because Gentiles have a false sense of superiority. It's false though. You with me, G Man? This Romans eleven twenty five. We're not in Torah. We're in, we're in the New Testament. Right now. And so I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery. It's a mystery, but I want you to be ignorant of it because it's time to wake up. Yeah, the wake up, the awakening is happening now. Y'all with me? I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery, brothers and sisters, so that so so that you may not be conceited, high minded. Think you're superior. Because everywhere you look. You got folks that are taught that they're superior. Yeah, there's a uh, 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 supremacy being taught, infiltrated, pushed. You see it all on TV. It's taught in schools. Some of it, is, sometimes it's blatant, and but it's constant, and sometimes it's subliminal. But it's a superiority type of a thing. Uh, when, when we looked at... Um, in 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 Hosea, like the third chapter, right? And and it says that the children of Israel, it, it, it was a, a three and four. It said the ch the children, right, would, would abide many days without a king, you know, you know, or a prince, and without sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, without an image too, and, and, and without and without a, 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 a ephod, right? And um, without a, 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 a teraphim, in other words, they, they wasn't going to be in control of the spirituality that's being taught, Mother Katie. They're not going to have no authority in government, government issues, nor are they going to have any superiority or any say-so in spiritual things either. They, go, they, they ain't going to have an ephod. They're they going to have a leg, leg to stand on. So from a theological standpoint, they're going to be taught by the enemies what the enemy want them to believe. I hope I hope I hope, I hope y'all I hope y'all see that, All right? So I do not want you to be ignorant. Back to uh, uh, Romans eleven twenty five. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Talk about, talking about the Gentiles, talking about those that were taught their superior. And one of the weapons that was used was religion. Yeah, you, you take you take a Messiah that was born in North Africa, and that was covered, yeah, by switch in North Africa the name of it to the Middle East during World War II. Can't, can't call it North Africa. Not the Messiah born. You gotta change that. If 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 there's a conspiracy that we just read in in, in, in Psalms eighty three, there's one voice, right? It's it's one voice for the New World Order. And that one voice is anti Yah, it definitely anti truth. And the purpose of it is to blind Israel, that they be a nation no more. We just read that in Psalms 83. The goal is, I don't want to be hopping all around on y'all like this, but I got to read it to you. See, l l l let's look at it. Let's, let's look at it. Uh, the third verse, Psalms 83 and 3, with, cu with, with cunning, they're cunning. They conspire against your people. That's Israel. And they plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation. So they're plotting to wipe out Israel. They got to come with cutting ways to make everybody hate them. All the way down to hate their skin tone, their, tear, their hair texture, just anything about them. They got to perpetrate them as evil, bad, wrong, 
They got to cause them to be despised, rejected. Are y'all listening? So the third verse says, and with cunning they conspire against your people and they plot against those you cherish. Come, let us destroy them as a nation. Yeah, that's going to render them without a king or a prince. Nomads, right? So that Israel name is remembered no more. And it has to be done so cunningly, so precise, so so sufficient, so complete that they're not remembered by the masses nor themselves. Can y'all see that? Put a one in here if y'all can see that. It's Bible study, right? So the, so, the, so the fifth verse says, with one mind. See, that's that's a new world. They're not using the spirit of love or truth. They're cunning. They're using the spirit of the enemy. And so in the fifth verse, with one mind, that means they all in it together. Which reminds me of scriptures like when the Bible said, you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Come to Israel. He said that to Israel. Mattiahu, um 24th chapter. Yeah. But, but he's talking to Israel. You'll be hated of all men. We be looking for an ally and stuff, don't we? We be looking like somebody going to come rescue us. Most high allowed... Um, Moshe, Moses, Moses to come um, um, help the first time, but this time he said, ain't nobody helping you. He said, I'm going to have to come get you out of the mess you're going to be in. Yeah, ain't, ain't nobody, we looking for something to come help us. Ain't nobody going to come help you. It's going to be Yah. But listen, fear first. With one mind they plot together, they form an alliance against you. So with one mind, they all on one accord. Back, back to Romans 11, 25, y'all. Look what it says. It says, I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Now, this is opening the door for other believers other than Israel. Because the spirit of Yah is ministering to the believer in the last day. Yeah, that this is the New Testament talking. And the main objective is for the believer to come to Yah. And it doesn't matter bloodline. I want y'all to hear me clearly. It doesn't matter bloodline. This is a spiritual thing. Because it didn't matter bloodline when the Most High first entered into a covenant agreement with Abraham. It ended up being bloodline, but it wasn't because of the bloodline. It was because of the faith, which then in turn caused the most high to bless the bloodline and enter into a covenant agreement with the bloodline. But the initiation, the initial reason why he blessed Abraham was because of faith, not bloodline. So this is disclosing, when we look at the 25th verse, I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery. In other words, what's been hidden is now being disclosed. It's been exposed. Now, we're in the last days where this is important to know. What was a mystery, Which what was hidden in the past? No, we finna dig the joker up. We finna blow the thing out the water. True Israel is finna be revealed and I don't want you conceited thinking you better than them, even though I let them, Psalms 83, conspire against them and destroy them as a nation, divided them. They don't have a king or a prince. They don't have no legal ground to stand on. I took that from. They don't have no ephod. Most high had, had, had brought Israel in to represent him in the earth. Yeah, they dropped the ball. So momentarily they were fired. Yeah. And punished. Shipped into to, to slavery. Shipped beyond Babylon. Now they're under the authority of other religious influences. Changing stuff and stuff ain't what it's supposed to be. As a way of punishment. 
But now that the Messiah has come in the last days, he is waking folk up spiritually. And those that love truth are attracted to truth, even though in the times we live in, they call, they call it, they call an evil, they call an evil good and good evil. They call, they call, they call the truth a lie and they call the lie the truth, right? And while that's being disclosed, he's talking to the believer now, the believing Gentile, not bloodline now. When he said the 25th verse, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery was hidden, brothers and sisters. See, they brothers and sisters too. So that you may not be conceited. Look at what it says. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the fullness until the full number of the Gentile has come in. Are y'all listening? You got you got some heathen folks from the heathen nations. You 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 got some folks that's the same nationality, the same bloodline as the people that conspired together to snuff out the, the nation of Israel. But they messed around and believed the word. So he said, I don't want you to be ignorant of this mystery, who true Israel is, and who they Elohim is, and how he really feel about them. Are y'all listening? Can y'all put a one in here if y'all with me so far, please? Keep listening. Watch this. I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. Y'all heard that? Now, we could read more in Hosea. I can take you to the first chapter, but we can read more in Hosea how that he divorced the northern kingdom, ten tribes. Yeah, and, and they became Gentiles. He, they were, he banished them into the heathen nations. He was so upset with them, and he kept Judah. He kept Judah intact. They're involved in this Gentile conversation. Are y'all listening? Th they were Gentiles as well. But it's definitely inclusive of the Gentile, Gentiles that's not bloodline Israel. Believe that. And he don't want them thinking that they better than Israel. Watch. I do not want you to be ignorant of the mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may may not be conceited. Israel has spirits of hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles come in. And that way, all Israel will be saved, as is written. The deliverer will come from Zion. That's the Messiah. That's Yahushua. And he will turn the Yahliness away from Yaakov. Yaakov or Jacob. Jacob, that's Israel. Remember in the Bible when the Most High changed Jacob's name to Israel when they was wrestling? That's that's what that is, right? And he will turn the unyodiness away from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them. See, he got agreement with them already. When I take when I take away when I take away their sins, he gonna forgive them. And that's what that's what we was talking about in Hosea. Did y'all see that, Latricia Johnson? In Hosea, Mother Katie, how he told him to go reconcile with your wife, go by. Because that's what he did. Yeah, he was found fashioned as a man. The word was found fashioned as a man to reconcile Israel back to his word. He paid with his with his life. He, pay, he paid with his blood. Just like he told Hosea, you go buy him back. Y'all want to see that again? Let's look at it. Real quick, we'll come back. We'll, we'll come back to Romans 11. Let's go to it again. Let's look at it. Let's look at Hosea in the third chapter. Because I want y'all to get this. I want you to understand. Right? Three and one. Let, let's, let's get this. It's Bible study. Let's learn together. Look what they say. 
And Yahuwah said to me, go show your love to your wife again. That's what he's doing. Israel. He's letting the world know that replacement theology, he was a liar. Because in the last days, he's going back to get his, his bride, Israel. This is what he's showing you right here. This is a prophecy. Can y'all see that? Put a two in here if y'all can see that. Yahuwah said to me, go and show your love to your wife again, though she is loved by another man and is an adulterer. Israel cheated on Yah. Y'all saw what, what, what they did in the wilderness when they made, took off the jewelry that he blessed them with and then, and then melted it down and made Molech. Then it was cheating on it. And then they start, they got into sun god worship. Back in uh, Acts, the seventh chapter, 40, 41 through 43, something like that verse. When, when he got so upset with them, he, he turned them over to sun god worship and said, I'm sending you beyond Babylon. See, all this stuff was going to happen to them beyond Babylon. All, all this amnesia, and they was going to, all this conspiring, and they was going to forget who they is, and they was going to get dogged out. Mm-hmm. All that happened beyond Babylon. Or y'all listening. But he telling, he telling Hosea, show your love to your wife again, though she is loved by another man and is an adulterer, right? Love her as Yahuwah loves Israel. See, that's the comparison analysis. That's what he's trying to show you. Though they turn to other gods and, 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 and love and love their sacred raisin cake. They sacred raisin cakes are cakes contributed to other gods. Yeah, when do they do when do they make them cross them hot cross buns? When do they do that? Is that during Easter or, or is that Christmas? Which one is that? Which one do when do y'all know? But anyway, Israel going to love them little hot buns. The rituals that when they the sun god worship, they going to enjoy Easter. The Easter egg, egg hunt. No, that they they going to love the Christmas tree. Even though, what is it, in Jeremiah, say don't cut down the tree and deck it, make it stand up. Don't do that. But they're going to love that. They're going to love it. So the second verse say, so I bought her, see, with 15 shekels of silver. How many shekels of silver did Judas sell him out for? Do y'all know? Somebody put that in there. I see you in here, Jeff. If you know how, how many shekels of silver was the Messiah sold out for. So I bought her with 15 shekels of silver and about a homer and a, 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 a leaf kit of barley. Then I told her, you, you are to live with me many days. You must not be a prostitute or be intimate with any, with, with any man. And I will behave the same way towards you. See, they they was making up. Y'all see that? Back 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 to Romans eleven chapter. Let, let me let, let me teach this. Okay, look. So the twenty sixth verse say, "In this way, all of Israel will be saved." That is written, the deliverer will come out of Zion, and he will turn the yaliness away from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them. When I take away their sins. Look what it say. 28 first. As far as. The gospel is concerned. They're the enemies for your sake. Talk to the Gentiles. What caused Israel to be enemies? Their, their disobedience. But the most high made it be a benefit to the Gentiles. The believing Gentiles. Those that will repent. Those that will repent, those that will not conclude, ain't no way in the world I'm going to accept these Negroes as Israel. See, he, he got something for them. This is a whole nother thing. He's giving the mystery. Listen, he's revealing the mystery to those that are really repenting from all sin. It's going to take the power of the spirit of Yah for anyone to wake up to who true Israel is, how bad they look right now, how bad they've been marketed, how bad they've been painted, 
how bad they've been robbed of their identity. Yeah. You got you got Judah shipped into the Americas and they sing. They're talented. They're athletes. They got so much talent, they're able to serenade and bring flavor to the whole world. They're the most popular loved people when it comes to talent. When it comes to singing and charisma, they're the most talented people on planet Earth. And the uh, men and women to tell you that. As much as they hate to, they love to mimic you. They just don't like you. Are y'all listening? But they don't benefit off of their charisma and all that. And Judah can sing. And so their enemies, look what their enemies did. They enemies had them singing, not to Yah, but have them singing to Molech in church. Have them singing to God. Isaiah 65, 11 said that's another deity. And that's exactly the deity they got on the back of the money in God we trust. Because if you study Isaiah 65 and 11, it'll let you know that it's a Babylonian deity of fortune and money is fortune. That's what it is. But they're going to have Israel singing to Molech and to the star of their god, the sun god worship, Remphan. Yeah. Because you're going to have some folks that can spy together up under the spirit of Esau, because Esau's seed has been spoiled, and he married into other nations. Because it's way deeper than skin tone. It's way deeper than hair texture. The spiritual realm is a whole nother level. So he can change his hair texture, and he can change his skin color, because it's a spirit that he's coming back for the priesthood. He wants the priesthood back from Jacob. Israel, he wanted back. And his daddy blessed him, gave him a blessing that he was gonna rule by the sword. So he's coming back for 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 his his the priesthood. He's also coming back for the physical blessings because that's really what he wanted. And so he's eating. He's run, he got all the money and stuff. He got all the weapons. It ain't just no regular sword. He got he got he got some drones. He got some AI type, he got some he got some weapons for you. Oh, he cocked and loaded. He ready. Are y'all listening? Put a two in here if y'all listening. Stay with me. Listen. So the 28th verse is teaching us, far as the gospel is concerned, they're your enemies, the Israel. They're the enemies for your they're enemies for your sake. For those they're going to have enough love for the most high to recognize truth when it come. And they're not going to be so repulsed by living in the flesh. Because if you're living in the flesh, you ain't going to like Israel either. If you're living in the flesh, you're going to be a racist. If you're living in the flesh, you're going to say, ain't no way in the world. I'm going to serve a, 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 a Negro Messiah. That's what you're going to say. That's what the average person going to say. And that's why the Bible teaches this destiny item that wide is the road that lead it to destruction and many there be that go in there at. Israel don't even like Israel. How good the marketing job was. How they always lose. No matter how talented they are. No matter how, they, how many uh, uh, inventions that they uh, created. They stole them. Esau stole them from them. Esau's upset about selling his birthright to Jacob, boy. Yeah, all them trillions of records sold, the content of the records is satanic. From a, from a spiritual standpoint, it's the Molech. From, from, from a natural standpoint, singing directly to Lucifer. Israel got to sell their soul for rock and roll. They're not going to be able to sing and sell all that music and, and, and prosper singing for Yah. They're going to make sure you're not singing to Yah. They're going to they're make sure that you you promoting sex and lascivious living, self-hatred, killing one another. And they're going to pay you for it, to kill you and to destroy you.
So with all that charisma, you find as beautiful as you is, they're going to make you a hoe. Male and female. They're going to be turning men into women and women into men. I'm talking about Israel. This is what they're doing. Yeah. 28 verse teaches us. As far as the gospel is concerned, they're your enemies. Right? They're, they're, no, they're not your enemy. They are enemies of Yah. He's whooping them for your sake. So you can get saved. So you can receive what they call the gospel. But as for, but as for, as election is concerned, they are loved. Did you hear that? He say, you might think I don't love them, but I do. I'm chasing them right now, but I'm finna turn back and come get them. I'm finna rescue them. This stuff's finna come to an end. See, Jacob's trouble ain't always. Come on, talk back to me, y'all. As far as where the gospel is concerned, they're enemies for your sake, so you can get in where you fit in. But as far as election is concerned, they are loved on the account of the patriarch, on the account of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, on the covenant agreement that the Most High entered with them, they're loved, and he's going to keep his word to them. He's coming to save his children. So how they hated on and being treated, it, said it was a period of time they was going to be without a king or a prince. They was going to be without an uh, 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 ephod. They wasn't going to be running it. They were supposed to They were supposed to be the head and not the tail, Deuteronomy 28. They were supposed to be the head and not the tail. They were supposed to lead the whole world to Yah. Instead, they sold out and rolled with the world, start sleeping with the world, start worshiping the gods of, uh, of the world. They got caught up in all those gods that was created in Mesopotamia at the Tower of Babel. And when he confounded the languages and he smote the earth with the Pangaea and it broke up. And the same God, Nimrod, Semiramis, Tammuz, their names was changed. So there's trinities all over the world with sun god worship. Because Nimrod became uh, the sun god, uh, Semiramis became the moon god, and Tammuz became the, the son of God. But now they got all different names all over the world. And Israel sold out and was and was sleeping with them spiritually, all these other gods. But he keeping his word to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's going to rescue them. Are you, is y'all listening? Can y'all see that? Can you see that, sweetheart? I see you in there. Listen. As far... As the gospel is concerned, there are enemies for your sake. But as for the election is concerned, they are loved on account of the patriarchs. For the Most High's gifts and his callings are irrevocable. He ain't changed his mind. In him is no shadow of turning. He ain't changed his mind. The gifts, the fact that he chose them, Israel, he ain't changed his mind. Princess. Ayers, he ain't changed his mind. Romans 11 and 28 just told us that. As far as, as far as the gospel is concerned, they're enemies for your sake. But as far as the election is concerned, they're loved on the account of the patriarch. For the most high's gifts, the gift that the Messiah will be born of Israel is irrevocable. And the covenant agreement that he made with Abraham because he chose Israel to evangelize the earth, he ain't changed his mind. It's irrevocable. Is y'all listening? 30th verse say, just as you who who were at one time disobedient, he's talking to the Gentile nations. You was disobedient. You, 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 you was you was in the serving other gods. You was you was in the Luciferianism. Yeah. Just that you who were at one time disobedient to Yah have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience. So I'm waiting for uh, the fullness of the Gentile to come on in. That's the 25th verse. I open up the door for y'all to come on in because I'm turning back to Israel. So it's going to be uh, 144,000 evangelizing the earth again. But they're going to repent. Because he, what he going to do to, to get them on, on, on point, he going to shut up heaven. Second Chronicles uh, 7, 13, and 14, like I always tell y'all.
He gonna shut up heaven that there be no rain because that represents future food. Folks are gonna be hungry in the future. But he said, but I'm gonna send the locusts to divide the land as well. That's killing the current food. It's gonna be full with pesticides and GMOs and they're gonna be making fake food, fake meat and fake, it ain't gonna be real. That's the locust, divine the land. If I send pestilence among my people, hard times and famines and chemtrails and yeah, yeah. Why is he doing it? If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, he putting pressure on you because folks ain't coming to him willingly. Yeah, we've been snuffed out. We don't even we don't even know who we are, whose we are. And then when we start finding out, we've been beat down so bad, we say it don't matter. We crazy enough to say it don't matter that they change y'all's name. The name is about every name. We say it don't matter. That's how toe up we are. No dignitary name is changed. You don't change nobody's name, tell you the truth. Their name is their name. But we too ignorant because we Catholicize. We've been beat down, whatever they say go. We've been tore up. They tore, they tore a patch out of us. We, we don't even realize that the new name for the Messiah, the Messiah warned you. And, and what was it? John 5 and 43. I come in my father's name. Yah. Yahusha. Yah salvation. The Messiah's name is Yahusha. The most high name is Yah. Tetragram, the YHWA. Yah. Yah self-existent one. But he said, I come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another come in his own name, him you're going to receive. Why? Because you're going to be punished. You rejected truth, so now you got to deal with Barabbas. You got you got to deal with who you thought, think is the Messiah. Because he come with a whole new look, a whole new name, right? He come with a whole new look, a whole new name, and a whole new doctrine. It's going to look like the real one, though. But with this one, you want save, always save. You ain't got to obey the most high. Yeah, with this one, you're going to be serving Tammuz's birthday on December 25th. See, it's, it's Nimrod, Semiramis and Tammuz, the original trinity. You gonna think y'all's a trinity when they done with you, cause you're hard headed. Yeah, you gonna think he white when he black. You gonna think he European. They they, they don't understand. They, they they'd rather he be uh uh Middle Eastern. They don't want to say no. He's a Negro. He black. He tar baby black. He black. They don't want, mm -mm, no, I'll give, they from Africa too, though. They don't really realize that. Before all the raping and mixing, you can't run from truth, but they're coming with a whole new look. The Messiah. He ain't the Messiah no more. He Christos. He ain't Yahushua no more. Yah is salvation. He's Jesus. Even though there was a ship a slave ship in the 1500s. There's a slave ship by the name of Jesus that was that was shipping the Hebrews from West Africa into the Americas. We still believe in the name Jesus. Yeah. See, we so tore up. Oh, that don't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, he gonna shut up heaven that there be no rain. You'll be you'll get hungry enough. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to come for you, too. The drag is still after you. When they come for you, you're going to be hollering. Right now, you're still twerking. You still, your breasts still out. You got your breasts arched up, and they stick it all out your dress. You look like a hoe. Dress, uh, that, oh, should I say whore? It ain't nothing but vernacular. The same thing. You the prostitute that Hosea was talking about. And the most high told Hosea, go marry her. Go buy her. Go pay for her. She's for sale. Go pay for her. And, and work out a deal with her that she cut it out. That's where we at right now. See, we thugs and thoughts and we swinging on poles and we sexually sick. You got a man with a little wig on and a dress. You got the sisters with a wife beater on, tattoo, she buff with a little short haircut, covadis, no jujitsu. <sighs> Kick your dog on behind. We see we all toe up. <sighs> But he gonna shut up heaven that there be no rain. You ain't gonna have no future food. They finna lock this joker down. 
Yeah. You, you, the current food? No, they locking that down too. Pessimists? Yeah, you're going to get that. He said the pessimists among his people so that we can repent because you're too comfortable now. Too many all-you-can-eat restaurants. Too, Vegas lights too bright, you know. Yeah. Your ball, your ball team winning right now. You can't listen to y'all right now. You might miss something. Well, you know, they partying too high. I ain't missing this one. No. Yeah, your favorite, your your favorite funk band coming to town. You can't, you can't, you can't obey y'all right now. He gonna stop your funk band though. So the 30th verse is teaching, Rhonda Ponder, look what it's teaching us. Just as you who were at one time disobedient, talking to the Gentiles. Just as you who were one time disobedient to the Most High, have now received mercy as a result of the disobedience. Oh, let me show y'all one more time, and then, and then we can get out of here. I'm going a little overtime. I start a little late, so I'll give y'all a little bit more. I don't like to keep y'all longer than an hour if I can help it. Unless y'all push me. So Isaiah 29, real quick. Look what this say. Let's start the 18th verse. I'm going to get, let's get through this so I can let y'all go. But I want y'all to see this. Isaiah 29, 18. Look what it say. It says, in that day, the death will hear the words of the scroll. Talking about the word, Torah. Talking about Torah, right? And out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Out of gloom and darkness, they're going to see. Look what it says. <clears throat> 19 verse says, Once more the humble will rejoice in Yahuwah. Now he's creating the humble through the circumstances of the darkness and gloom. He know how to shut up heaven that there be no rain. Send the locusts to buy the land. Send pestilence amongst people. Now you're humble. So now the humble is going to be rewarded. Watch what it says. Once more, the humble will rejoice in Yahuwah. The needy, see, you, you was without because he shut up heaven. And he and, 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 yeah, he sent the locusts and he sent pestilence. Now you're needy. But the needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel because because we're going to find out what his real name is and that they lied. And we're also going to learn the doctrine that they attach to the white Jesus, Caesar Borgia. You're you going to find out that his daddy was the Pope, Alexander, the Pope. Oh, the, the, po the Pope is with fake Israel. Israel's running all of Israel, fake Israel's running all of it. He, that he's running uh, Judaism, Catholic Christian, and Ishmael, the Muslim. That All them religions, they did that. We, we need to get rid of religion and get back in relationship with the most high. But see, we don't know that yet. Not completely. We're figuring it out. But it's too much food. Too many, it's, it, it's too, much, too many discotheques still open. Yeah, it's, too, it, it's, it's, it's still, yeah. Too much pig feet still. It's still, we'll figure it out in a minute. But look, 18 verse. Once more, the humble will rejoice in Yahuwah. And the needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel, the ruthless will vanish like scandalous, hustlers, slick jokers. He gonna kill them. The ruthless will vanish, and the mockers will disappear. Oh, I've been here. Y'all been talking every day, just stuff all my own. Oh yeah, you gonna be gone too. <clears throat> the non-believer, disrespectful joker. See when he shut up heaven that there be no rain, you gonna starve to death. He'll send, he'll, he'll send locusts, divide, yeah, that's still starvation. And all who have an eye of evil will be cut down. Is y'all listening? Though, th those who with a word make somebody out to be guilty and ensnare the defender in court and with false testimony deprive the innocent of justice. All these, these jacked up court systems that's falsely accusing us cops kill us and then they get a they get to get get, get a get, uh, what what a GoFundMe and then go to Disneyland and then sue sue the system for money after they did murdered everybody went away uh, 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 free they lost their job they get all that money back pay they made all that money 
on, on, on GoFundMe. Then they get all that money back. They was out of they was out of work for like two, three years, fighting the case after they just blew our brains out, just dogged us out. And then and then that little fake court system they got, and then, and then they walk free. They didn't frame the brother, killed him. They put plant dope on you. They dog you the heck out. Everybody know they out of body. But racism, these jokers hate us. So they get away with it. So with false testimony, they deprive the innocent of justice. 22nd verse, look what it say. <clears throat> Therefore, this is what Yahuwah, who redeemed Abraham, says to the descendants of Yaakov, to Israel, to Jacob. This is what he said to him. No longer will Jacob be ashamed. Is y'all listening? No longer. This stuff is finna come to an end. Jacob's trouble is still happening. In fact, it's finna get worse right now. Because look at Jacob. Jacob got too many masculine women and too many feminine men. Jacob throw up. Jacob got too many little shooters. Little looters and polluters. Jacob, Jacob in church getting ready for Christmas now and Easter. J Jacob, Jacob, Jacob is in love with Jesus. Yeah, they don't want to, you can't tell him you can't change his name. They don't want to hear that. Yeah. So no longer would Jacob be ashamed. No longer would their faces grow pale from fear. For being dogged the heck out. When they when they see among of them their children the works of my hands, and they will keep my name holy. That's the uh, what is it, the third commandment? Fourth commandment, when it says, Thou shalt not bring the most high name to nothingness. See, we don't even really know what that means. Using his name in vain. We don't even understand what that really means. That means bring it to nothing. That means they changed his name and brought his real name to nothingness. They brought his name to nothingness when they brought Israel's name to nothingness. When they dispersed them as a nation. When they destroyed them from being a nation. They, they grabbed their books. They grabbed their books. And they painted their images in it. And, and they switched some stuff. And they changed some stuff. And they brought his name to nothing. Right? But the Most High is waking us up. And we're going back to his name and his true fame. Listen! 23rd verse. When they see among their children the works of my hand, they, see, the children won't go do it because these older jokers, they religious as heck. They don't want to hear it. See, these Baptist jokers, you, you know, they, 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 they so 501c3 out. They so government agents. They so sell out. They so weak. Yeah, I said it. It's the truth. Sell out jokers. King Trinitarians, they so Christmas and Easter and so, what's up, Doc? They're so worldly, so screw everybody in the church, so little tight shirt on and like little boys. Just ridiculous. Listen, when they, but look at the 23rd verse. When, listen, what it say? It say, listen, when they see among them their children, they go see, look, the works of my hands. They will keep my, my name holy. And they will acknowledge the holiness of the Holy One of, of Israel. And will stand in awe of the Elohim of Israel. Listen, 24 verse. Those who are wayward in spirit will gain understanding. You're all over the place. You got a Bible, don't even know what's in it. And you're a preacher. You're a pastor. You're wordless. Oh, Doc. Oh. Oh, we got, all these little cliches and sayings. You wordless. Oh, I'm going to teach you anywhere. I see you in there, Alvin. 24 first. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Those who are wayward in spirit will gain understanding. And those who complain, listen, will escape instruction. When is that going to happen? I'm going to go, y'all. When is that going to happen? When he, when he shut up heaven that there be no rain, because he already started. Yeah, you can see the new world orders here. Oh, it's coming in. Oh, everything's going to get shut down. And they're coming straight for Jacob. They hate Jacob. They mad because we wake up. Putin said who he was, and he showed it. You think he showed it because he want to help us? 
the Bible teaches us that we ain't got no allies. They all with one voice hate us. The reason why he did it, because it's time to bring America down. And one of the ways is to show that the Messiah is a Negro. Because the racist white boy going to go bananas. Oh, he, oh, he, they just raising the, the racial tension. That's it. He know what he's doing. Russia and China will be here. China bought this place. They're already here. Russia and China. More China than Russia. But they're already here. They already bought this place. And they wasn't using fake money like we were. Because money is fake ever since 1933. When they took the gold out of Fort Knox. And now it's just... You buy stuff. There was a document written in 33 that if an American citizen buys something, it don't count. That's why the government can just take your stuff because it really don't belong to you. You bought it with money with no, no money in the account. It's bankrupt. So they resell it. They sold it to folks that pay with real money. And now they got to pay up. So they'll be here in a minute. Which is all prophecy. And you think they're coming to help you? You out your mind. You only got, listen, you look you could, you look for somebody else to help you if you want to. You stay a fool. Ain't nobody never helped you. And they're not. Y'all going to get them. Y'all going to help you. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forget their sins and hear their land. Ain't nothing happening until then. You need to repent. You need to go back to y'all. And apologize for the sins of your forefathers. Get your crazy self off the pole. Get out that bed. Close your dog on leg and cover up your tits. Try that on. Little bro, take that wig off. <clears throat> Use a man. Go back home. Get your family. Get your wife. Repent. Come out from among me several. Give them their Christmas back, their Easter back. Give them their white Jesus back. And that's no punt against white folk because we've been serving a white Jesus since we've been brainwashed. Now we're waking up. Now can you serve a black Jesus? And then when you get there, can you give him his name back? The name that's above every name. And at that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given to men whereby we must be saved. Can we do that? Put a four in here if we can do that. This ain't no race thing. He coming back for his children, no. This ain't no skin doctrine. I'm talking about skin doctrine. The jokers that changed uh, uh, North Africa to the Middle East is skin doctrine. The ones that changed his name uh, to Jesus from Yahushua is skin doctrine. The one that painted him white when he's really black from Africa, that's skin doctrine. I can't tell the truth. Now I'm skin doctrine for telling the truth. And you brainwashed if you think it is. You're calling good evil and evil good. For me to tell the truth about the lie they told, I'm skin doctrine. Go pray for yourself because you need it. Is y'all listening? Put phone in if you're with me. And you're ready to repent and accept truth. He pouring out truth in these last and evil days. And we need to get with the truth. If you're with the truth, put a phone in here. Put four in here. Cut it out. All that old church stuff. Get out of here with that. The false doctrine and the mess they on. Once saved, always saved. Don't have his name right. Don't have his deity right. He ain't God. Go read Isaiah 65 11. In God we trust. That's they stuff. Give it back to them. And serve Yah, our Elohim. Is y'all listening? We need prayer to do it. You need to pray that religion off yourself. We need prayer to do it. Put five on it. Let's pray. That's the Bible study for the night. Y'all put five on it. Let's pray. <clears throat> Spirit living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to have been in your presence even once again because we love you and we need you desperately. Call us religious scales to fall off our eyes that we walk in the spirit of truth, the spirit of love, the spirit of forgiveness. Uh, you, let you do what you do. Let us not have so much self-hatred that we hate uh, even ourselves to the point that we can't even accept uh, that we the people. 
you proven it and you called the, the, the earth to regurgitate truth. Histor history is regurgitating truth. The scripture is now opening up and regurgitating truth. Uh, it's not skin doctrine, it's the truth. And we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free, free from the lie. Uh, we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free from the lie, set us free. That we may continue or begin to uh, worship you in spirit and in truth. For you have a desire for such to worship you. And we love you. And that deliver us even from our flesh, this wickedness, all this lust and this poor behavior. And that we cast our cares upon you, knowing you care. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor. Not only now, but forever, moving forward. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we only pray. Hallelujah. 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 All right, y'all. That was the Bible study for the night. I, uh, 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 almost good night. But, um... I pray that everybody was broke, got some out of it. Put a nine in here if you learned some. If you learned some, if you learned some that you agree with, put a nine on it. I think get out of here. Uh, it's late. I'm gonna let y'all go. Plan to be back at it tomorrow morning for prayer, six uh, thirty a.m. for prayer. Is that what I know? Six o'clock for prayer. Six thirty. I plan to be teaching again, the Book of Jude. Yeah, I permit. I pray to see y'all then, and I plan another Bible study. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. if the most high permit. Y'all, is that all right? All right. Uh, Y'all be Baruch and, 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 and Irva Tov. Shalom. I'm gone.